Hi, Movie Redux here. Today I'm delving into the intricacies of an adventure, love, and suspense film called The Beach. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. In the vibrant night streets of Bangkok, a tuk-tuk ferries Richard to the iconic Khao San Road. Weary but intrigued, he navigates through the lively crowd and declines persistent offers from a hustler. Other young travelers share snippets of their experiences, discussing destinations and opinions. Entering a restaurant, Richard secures a room from a Thai receptionist. If you have been to Bangkok, you'd know. In the small, windowless shower room, Richard stands motionless, savoring the cold water spray with closed eyes. Attempting to unlock his room, Richard struggles with the stiff lock. Over the sound of climbing footsteps, a loud wolf whistle pierces the air. Françoise, a beautiful European woman, approaches, deftly takes the key, and effortlessly opens the door for Richard. I wish I was Richard. Anywho, expressing gratitude, before he's joined by Etienne, Françoise's companion. I don't like this guy already, but I wish I was him. As the couple heads to their room, Richard bids them bonsoir, left with a contemplative moment about his solo travels. In the dimly lit hotel room, Richard lies on the bed watching the slow rotation of the fan above him. The ambiance is disrupted by the audible, passionate encounter between Etienne and Françoise in the adjacent room. Richard wishes he was Etienne. As their intimate sounds reach a climax and fade into silence, a new disturbance arises. This time, the noise originates from the opposite direction, the adjacent room occupied by Daffy. He pounds on the wall above Richard's head, yelling a request for something to smoke in rhythmic cadence. The disruptive symphony continues. I love this crazy man. Expressing annoyance, Richard requests quiet for the sake of sleep. Daffy, desperate to repay the debt, entices Richard with promises of a secret paradise, a perfect secluded beach that no one else knows about. Uninterested, Richard emphasizes his need for sleep, and Daffy reluctantly agrees to silence. They exchange a brief farewell handshake, and Richard returns to his room. The scene shifts to the next day in the bustling restaurant. Richard wanting to go back into his room, but is alarmed to find out a Thai woman cleaning the electric bulb rather than the floor. Clearly had a few before her work. Richard tries to stop her before she gets fried and goes to God, but instead she points to a letter. Richard opens the letter and finds out that it's a map of the Paradise Island Daffy was talking about. Excited, he contemplates how to get his gorgeous neighbor and her not-so-great boyfriend to join in the trip to Paradise. Motivated by a growing infatuation with Francoise and the allure of a unique adventure away from the typical tourist scene, Richard persuades her and Etienne to join him on a journey to a mysterious island. Their travels take them from the bustling streets of Bangkok to the serene shores of Koh Samui in the Gulf of Thailand. On the island, Richard befriends a pair of American surfers who excitedly share stories about the legendary beach. They mention its almost unlimited supply of marijuana, unknowingly revealing a secret Richard already holds. Wrestling with the decision to inform them, Richard ultimately copies his map and discreetly slides it under their door, guided by the belief that world travelers should not withhold information from one another. To reach the island, the trio faces the challenge of swimming across. Upon arrival, they discover a massive marijuana plantation guarded by locals armed with AK-47 assault rifles. Barely avoiding detection, they proceed to jump off a cliff with Francoise leading the way. Kitty, an islander, witnesses their arrival and guides them to the beach community. Their entry into the community isn't seamless. Sal, the island's leader, cautiously interrogates them about their knowledge of the island. Despite initial skepticism, they are eventually accepted into the community. Over the next few days, Richard, Francoise, and Etienne integrate into the islander's way of life, becoming a part of the close-knit community. During a moonlit stroll along the beach, Francoise confides in Richard, expressing her burgeoning feelings of love for him. The pair ventures into the ocean to witness the mesmerizing display of bioluminescent plankton, culminating in a passionate kiss and intimate moments on the beach. 
Despite their efforts to keep the romance discreet, news spreads throughout the island, reaching even Etienne. Although devastated, Etienne selflessly conveys that he won't stand in their way if Francoise is happier with Richard. Initially, the island and its community seem idyllic. Richard gains admiration by bravely dispatching a young mako shark during a fishing expedition, though Bugs, Sal's boyfriend, objects to the act. Events take a darker turn when Richard is chosen to accompany Sal to the mainland for supplies. As islanders eagerly contribute items for the trip, Bugs issues a warning to Richard, squeezing his crotch, cautioning against any inappropriate behavior with Sal. In Koh Phangan, Richard unexpectedly encounters the American surfers preparing for a trip to the beach with two girls. Attempting to dissuade them, Richard asserts that the beach is nothing more than a myth. Sal overhears their conversation about the map and confronts Richard, who admits to his involvement without disclosing the map's replication. In a coercive exchange, Sal blackmails Richard into being intimate with her that night, securing her silence and his return to the island. Upon their return to the island, life resumes its routine until tragedy strikes when the Swedes, engaged in fishing, fall victim to a shark attack. Sten succumbs almost instantly, and Christo suffers severe injuries. Faced with the dilemma of seeking medical assistance on the mainland or taking his chances on the island, Christo opts to stay. Sal, adamant against allowing a doctor onto the island, intensifies the isolation. The desperate decision is made to leave him in the heart of the jungle to perish. Etienne, appalled by the group's callous choice, stands by Christo, defying the community consensus. Meanwhile, Sal, angered by the presence of the American surfers on a neighboring island, charges Richard with the task of surveilling them to obtain the map and destroy it. Frustration mounts as the surfers linger on the other island for days. In the midst of this, Francoise confronts Richard, revealing Sal's betrayal by disclosing their intimate encounter to the entire community. Overwhelmed by guilt and heartbreak, Richard retreats into the forest. Temporarily losing touch with reality, he believes he is communing with the deceased Daffy. In a state of madness, he eludes the other islanders, setting lethal traps and at times hallucinating that he is a character in a video game. The once serene island becomes a backdrop for Richard's descent into a chaotic and disturbed state of mind. In the interim, the surfers successfully reach the island, only to meet a grim fate at the hands of the marijuana farmers. Witnessing their executions, Richard retreats to the community with a dire warning for Etienne and Francoise. Fearing for their lives, he urges them to leave the island immediately. Etienne, reluctant to abandon the ailing Christo, refuses to depart. However, his compassionate act is abruptly interrupted when a farmer strikes him unconscious. Awakening in pain, Richard finds himself surrounded by the community and the farmers. The lead farmer, honoring an agreement with Sal, hands her a gun loaded with a single bullet, presenting a harrowing ultimatum. Sal, visibly torn, approaches Richard and fires an empty chamber, throwing the crowd into chaos. As the community disintegrates, the lead farmer smiles, marking the collapse of the once cohesive group. Sal, overwhelmed with tears, watches the hysterical crowd flee from the island. Together, they swim back to the mainland, parting ways in the aftermath of the chaotic ordeal. The film concludes with Richard stopping at an internet cafe to check his mail. He receives an email from Francoise titled Beach Life, featuring a photograph of the beach community and an animated inscription over the image, Parallel Universe Love Francoise It Sinks. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more movies. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, take care and stay awesome.